I think it'll be quite good to uh, show the. Uh, oh, fuck damn. Hello, hello. YouTube, we are in a. Uh, oh no, I've got to carry on. I've got to carry on with the other episodes, on not I? YouTube, how you doing? We're, uh, we're in Birmingham, just going to the hotel. As you might be able to tell, I'm absolutely out of it. Even though I've been eating the last two days, this prep has killed me off, so. But I'm going to make sure this video is fucking good for you guys. But not for me, because I've wrecked it. But yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I'm sure we're going to bring you behind, lots of behind the scenes, showing you what meals I'm eating. We've got tonight, obviously, getting the tan done. It's now like half five, six. Get my tan done at half eight. Straight to bed like a good boy. Um, and then tomorrow, the day starts at five and one at half eleven. Krispies. So I've got one more meal left for tonight. I've had four today because I've been in London all day. Um, some rice cakes for two standards. Uh, I'm going to wait for Corey later because I have no idea what he wants me to eat in the morning, but we know the plan, so I'm basically on at. When am I on at? Half 11? Yeah, probably like 11, half 11, but there's, I don't know, someone said that there's 100 people in one of the bodybuilding classes. That's pretty mental. Uh, it won't be mine, but. So I think we're going to be up at five, meal. Well, I'll be up earlier than that, but meal at five. Um, tan at 6.30, 6.45, take a meal there because of a meal at seven, and then a meal at nine, and that'll be it before stage, but they're all going to be carb, fat meals. Don't know what the sauce is yet. I'll wait for Corey to tell me. So I have no idea. Bit more prep than last time. Bit more prep than last time, but like, Corey's been an absolute godsend. Unbelievable mate, it's not just a coach, brother, I love it. Um, I can't like, explain this fucking prep. Like the last one you heard me talk, I, talk, well, I spoke about like being vulnerable and all that. And I'm like, this is the first prep I've done, I haven't absolutely fucked it. Like a prep, I'm actually going into it. And the only difference is that like, obviously it was a six and a half week shotgun prep, which isn't the best, but we managed to bring in as much as we can. I'm the lowest weight, up. I got to a lower weight the when I was shredded last time for my last show. Um, so we'll see what manipulations in terms of what we can do for the show. I'm just hoping the tan and the look we bring can obviously bring home a national championship would be worth it. But just going back to this prep, like I'll be completely honest, like there's one side of the prep that's obviously low body fat, not really sleeping. Um, that's probably messed in my head quite a lot because I don't know, I haven't had the experience. I haven't experienced this before, and it was very refreshing seeing people doing the Mr. Olympia, talking to pro bodybuilders in my area, and seeing people like Jamie the Giant um, crying on his YouTube. So I realized I, I'm not the only one that's gone through it. However, there are compounds, so PEDs, that I have used this time, that I haven't used before. Um, and I'll be completely honest, like I, have, I, had, like I was fine, uh, and I have heard, obviously, that some of these compounds if you're mentally, mental health's a bit bad. Like I spoke to you for my last show about the struggles I have with drugs and mental health. Um, it kind of plays on that. And yeah, the last the last two weeks for me have been very dark, very bad, very, uh, been kind of crippling in a way. Um, I don't know if you can tell it in my face or how I'm talking, but it's been very crippling, been really emotional. Uh, I'm just glad to get through it, to be honest. Um, and yeah, I'll probably expand more on that. But mate, I love bodybuilding, so let's get it. Uh, one thing, yeah. Right, let me know when you're ready, mate.
tomorrow. I might sleep in them. So I've got a sweat bed, so I'll just sit there. So, uh, what's it, half six? So my tan's at half eight. So to be honest, for me at the moment, it's kind of like wait for Corey to get here, chill with Jake, talk some ideas through. But to be honest, I'm in bodybuilder zone at the minute. Very tired, but I want to sit here and watch the people that inspire me. So that's like your Nick Walker videos, Cooper videos, Scott, Scotty Swench videos. Just like, just like YouTube, like you're watching this, I, I like watching stuff like Cooper's One Day Out video. I've already watched it, but I just want to be in that zone and just zone out a little bit. Because honestly, like... One thing I will say, anyone that's watching this don't bodybuild, it's just interesting the journey, like, you, no matter how much I talk about how my head is, or how tired I am, or everything, and obviously, we do this, bodybuilders do this, and I'm saying that this is my third show, imagine people do loads of shows, I'm, I'm saying all this, but you, will, unless you do it, you will never understand what, I could say, I could talk for 10 hours on how I feel, you wouldn't understand unless you do it, um, so at the minute I'm kind of like so tired, in that zen mode, ready to do it, ready for it to be over, but ready to smash it and do well. Like, there's just a lot of thoughts and emotions, but also no thoughts. You're like emotionless and emotional. It's just crazy. But for me, I just want to wind down now. Um, yeah, wind down, watch some videos, chill out, get my last meal in in like, maybe like an hour. Um, yeah, go from there. Should be fun. I think I'll wake up tomorrow quite buzzing though. You'll see. I'll be I'll be at half or get Jake, get the fucking camera. Woo! I'll be like that, but for the, the excitement will get me through. But tonight I think just the chilling the chilling will get me through, so I've got the rest of my water, but last meal, sixty grams of uh, rice krispies, twenty grams of whey protein. Standard we kept our salt at 12 grams every single meal for however long I've always done that. Um, and the difference is going to be, I don't really know what we're going to do with water, but it'll probably just be a little bit of every meal. Um, but that will be halved, the salt. Um, with whatever it is, still don't know what food's tomorrow. Apart from that, I've also yeah, I've got to have two vitamin C again. Um, that's it, yeah. I've eaten quite a lot today, but when you're in this body fat and this state, no, I'm not food focused at all, so I'm not like, oh, rice krispies are all food. It, this just goes through me, like, and not as in goes through me, but as in like, does nothing, doesn't give me any energy, just burns through in two seconds. But here's what it is. So, I'm so emotionally, like, at the moment, all, all I can think about is that feeling of getting off and knowing it's done and, like, the stress. Not the stress, I'm just exhausted. 32 weeks of this shit. And just knowing, at least for the weekend, I could just enjoy it. And I'm just, oh. Like the thought of just getting it on is exciting, but the thought also of just this, oh. I can come out and I can look at you lot and just be like, oh, oh that's going to be crazy. Dandelion root before anyone says I'm taking out the drug, just not. Herbal diuretic and vitamin C. As well, uh, so if you've got any questions to do with like the pre-show day, my food, the peds, how the prep's been, what I'm doing post-show, anything, mug can be funny stuff, but you can bring up stuff if you know me from school, I don't care. Uh, any questions at all, just drop them in, uh, uh, drop them in here and we'll get them on the YouTube video. Mate, my face really does look in, doesn't it? I've decided I'm absolutely fucking freezing, so, oh hello. <laughs> I'm too cold because I might have little body fat levels, which probably don't look like they're low here. So I'm actually going to put some warm shit on. 
fucking freezing. Right, tan time, and we've got to go and drive to which to be fair, I actually don't mind, just saying to do it. Um, leave my watch then. Just wait, what have I got? I've got everything. Two towels, myself, my wallet, my phone. Clo baggy clothes. Yeah, baggy clothes. You got the key card in there. Got the key card. You got your pants. Yeah. Make sure we lock the room. Phone, wallet, keys. It's like a dry look. Mm, it's a dry look. Hopefully the town will bring it. I just feel like there's a layer that could just be like boom, but maybe the town will bring it out. Who knows? Time, motherfucker. I ain't got my time for another 25 minutes. Fuck it. Oh, look at that food. I'm really struggling to walk. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, thank you. Is that the kid? very different feelings this one feels a lot more emotional in terms of like just how it's been just, I don't know there's like an element of excitement whereas before it was very spontaneous so that was the fun part because I love being spontaneous this is very like more calculated but also really hard so I think there's just going to be such an overwhelming sense of achievement and emotion after this one so I'm looking forward to it but I kind of just want to get it, get it done first yeah. Looking for frozen fruit baits. We've been given, but I'll go for it in the room, but we've been given the food by Corey, so just looking for fruit. Well, I normally have frozen fruit. So if not, which I don't think they do, I have to get something else. Why is it? It's actually half ten. So my first meal's at five. Actually, I read. I need to reply to Corey. So I'll voice name a sec. Um, but just so, so this is what Corey sent through. Meal one, five a.m. Eighty grams of baby rice, hundred grams of fruit, twenty grams of dark chocolate. Uh, Seven a.m. Baby rice, hundred gram uh, fruit, almond butter. Nine a.m. Baby rice, fruit, dark chocolate jam. He thinks he's basically said that I'm gonna win anyway, so he's giving me meals for after for when we do other stuff. But basically, after I come off stage, and I didn't actually buy enough water, so I'm gonna have to go get some more water. But straight away coming off stage, he wants me to have a baby rice meal with protein, with fruit, with dark chocolate, and two liters of water. Um, obviously, health reasons, etc. So that's gonna be nice. Just making me feel better. Um, yeah, just put double espresso for shits. Don't really know how I'm gonna get double espresso with. I'll probably have to wait till like Starbucks opens or something. I don't know. We'll see before we go. But I've got tanning, like the second coat or the, whatever you call it, 
6.45, so we'll probably just do it around then. But yeah, I'm just going to wash that back. So yeah, half ten, I usually begin to sleep at like 7 o'clock, so got to be up at pretty much half four. Um, so yeah, that's it, it fucking all comes down to this. 15 minutes on stage tomorrow. It's going to be crazy. Like, I actually, I'm kind of like longing off the emotions and feelings that I have in my head. Like, if I, if I stop to think about it, I'd probably be like, whoa. But like, I feel like tomorrow is uh, it's going to hit me, hit me bad in terms of just like who I'm going to see. Uh, just everything has been so about this show. It's taken over my life, like in a good way and in a bad way. It's actually it's just been crazy. It's been a whirlwind, very a very unexpected little journey to a show. Um, yeah, it's a crazy one. A bit overwhelming for me. A bit crazy. Very excited. I think I'll be a lot more excited post sending Corey some photos. Uh, eating the first meal and getting the tan done and maybe eating the second meal. I think when it's like eight, nine o'clock, I've had, a, I've had a, a, like the, the coffee and that and we're a couple of hours out. Like there's nothing you, there's not really much you can do in the morning anyway, but there's nothing I can do at that point. Um, so I'll just be seeing how it goes. I'm just hoping everything comes together, but I'm good enough.